All right, legends, welcome back. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna go ahead and create a customer to our QuickBooks. Now, one of the questions you might be thinking is, is do I need to do this, create a new customer before the customer actually pays me? No, not at all. The customer can pay you whenever you want, and then you can go back in and create a profile for them in your QuickBooks. So don't worry about that. Sometimes they could pay you the day of, cash on delivery, or send you a personal check, and then you'd have to go home and add the customer to your QuickBooks. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. Make sure you're on the customer tab over here on the left-hand side. I'm gonna go ahead and on the right-hand side, click new customer. Now we don't need to fill out all this information. Uh, depending on your business, you might want to. I think it's a good idea to fill out billing address, phone number, maybe the website, maybe the fax, obviously their first name. The only required information that we need is the display name. Uh, but personally, I think the email should be required information as well because the email is how we're going to send our customers our invoices as well as our estimates. Uh, if we're looking for their business and haven't quite sealed the deal yet, we need to send them an estimate. If we have sealed the deal and they owe us money for product or service, we send them an invoice. So what we're going to do is we're just going to create a customer. I'll call it Eddie. Is that how you spell Eddie? Eddie Money. Company Eddie Money plumbing display name as or display display customer as uh, I like to do it by their business because the business stands out a little bit a little bit more to me than a name so I'm gonna go with Eddie money plumbing just like that now for the email set up an email that you have access to so when we send them an invoice or an estimate we can see what that email looks like the email that we're sending out set it up put your email in here so we can see what type of emails and invoices our clients are getting. So I'm going to go ahead and type in ch at villageparksource.com. Uh, that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to have my company name. I'm not going to worry about the billing address, phone number. Just make it mandatory that you need to have the display name as and obviously the email. So I'm going to click save. Boom. Customer Eddie Money Plumbing is saved just right here. Eddie Money Plumbing. On the right hand side, we can create an invoice. It's set to invoice by default because that's probably what you're going to be doing the most. Create a sales receipt, create an estimate, make inactive. Say you've screwed up on the the guy's information or something, you can just set it to inactive. Uh, but for the most part, this is going to be whoa. This is going to be on. Let me go back. This is going to be on create an invoice. Now, if the customer updates his information, you need to edit some of his information, whether it be an email or phone number. You can go ahead and just click on it right here. Click on edit, and you're back to this screen. Uh, as well as make inactive down here. So if this is a mess up and you just want to get rid of this out of your system, click make inactive. But if you're just doing an edit, change it to whatever it may be, get rid of that. And I'm going to click save. So congratulations, guys. We have successfully added a customer into our QuickBooks. And in the next video, we'll talk about sending them an invoice.